Yeah, don't try to act like you don't know what a whole bath is. Like a bird bath. Like you get all the necessary areas. Your face, your neck, behind your ears, your armpits, your ass, and your front. Like just splash, 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 splash. That's it. everybody and welcome to the vlog it's monday um houston is like in a state of emergency because it is snowing it's literally actively snowing and i did not know snow makes your power go out i haven't had power in my house since what time did i wake up 8 a.m haven't had power since 8 a.m it's 59 degrees in my house um yeah let me show y'all the snow oh my god oh, to most of y'all this is nothing but it does not snow in houston it snows in dallas kind of often but in houston maybe like every five six years it snows and then for it to stick like this this is like never this like never like look at these snow flurries like wow let me close my door though because like i said we have no power this is crazy i'm glad i made tuna last night <laughs> i made tuna last night because um I'm like just in case maybe i jinx the shit that is wild hmm my damn phone is cut off. I'm about to call and uh, pay the bill right now. My <sighs> shit is crazy. Okay, let me let me get my life together and then I'll be right back. <laughs> so I'm back. I have on leggings and sweatpants. I have on a t-shirt and a hoodie and I have a blanket around me. Oh, and I'm wearing my Ugg boots. I had some um, some gloves on for a little while, some gloves and a beanie. But I just took that off. Um, this is crazy. So I'm, I'm just FYI, I'm snowed in with Trill. He's here. He just stepped outside to go smoke. Y'all know how dudes do. But um, his friends just called and said it's uh, the reason why the lights are off and the water is because fires start. I don't know. That don't make sense to me. But maybe that's the thing. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is terrible. And my phone not working. His phone really not working either. He can um, iMessage, and he's with Sprint too, and that's all he can do. He can iMessage and he can FaceTime. So I FaceTime Ethan, so I'm able to FaceTime, but half of my texts aren't going through. So I'm thinking it's because I ain't paying my damn bill. I'm thinking it's because of what this shit that's going on. I'm so glad I made some tuna last night. So literally, we could eat some tuna, some cereal, this is, te like, this is awful. Che I got cheese sticks. I can make a salad now. Okay. I can survive off a few salads. Or, I uh, guess, like a sandwich. Turkey sandwich. Turkey and cheese sandwich. I only got, like, four slices of bread left, but that's enough. So, I think I'm about to make me a bowl of cereal. Let me see if this cereal's expired, because... Bought this here. When we first moved in, my kids bougie. They don't like eating cereal. Okay, March 2021 for the Fruit Loops. Let's see these frosted Lucky Charms. July 2021. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. August 2021. All right, and this milk is brand spanking new. So we got action. Yes, sir. Trill going crazy because he don't he don't eat cereal he don't eat tuna he 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 gonna eat, eat nothing but some hot food <laughs> so he talking about he about to eat him some edibles I'm like well how you gonna eat you some edibles anyway I, I ain't even got time to even try to uh, comprehend that y'all this vlog is about to be so boring y'all sure y'all wanna watch this literally I ain't got shit to do. Nothing but talk to y'all. 
I can't even surf the internet on my phone. Like, this is wild. So it is currently 11.07. We noticed that power was out at about 8 a.m. We noticed water had been turned off at about 9.30 a.m. Mm. It's a little stale. I'm gonna eat it though. That's all I got. But like I was saying, I'm trying to see how long this gonna last. And why do y'all have it turned off in some locations, but not in every location? Like, I'm glad my kids still have lights and water and stuff at their dad's house, but it's like, why y'all turn it off over here? I don't get it. <laughs> this is something for us to film. Other people that from other states, they're gonna be like, that ain't shit. Right here. No. I can't do it. <laughs> now you want to tell me to do it. All right, so we just got back. Um, we're now about to take my car to go put gas in it. I'm telling him, I think. The gas stations are out of gas just because the way the people were driving through didn't look right. But he a man and he's like, no, 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 it's good. It's open. It's open. They was just, I'm like, okay, we, we, we about to see. So where's my beanie? I'm about to put my beanie on. I'm hitting light switches like we have power. Um, <clears throat> My homegirl said that her lights and water are out then i have another home girl oh water's back on y'all hear that it just cut back on it just cut back on okay does that mean power is coming on too is power on okay but the water that was running in my kitchen is not back on so what the hell does that mean? And I'm scared to pee and flush my toilet. Oh, Lord. This is crazy. The fuck? They don't prepare Texans for this type of shit. Is my pipes gonna bust if I try to flush my toilet? Like my water stopped running at about 9.30 this morning and it's now 12.08. But it's back on in this sink fine. Okay. Let me, let me try to pee. All right, water's back on in the kitchen too. Um, I didn't flush, so I just got my pee sitting in the toilet because I was a little scared. But now that it's back on in the kitchen, I know I, I, I should be fine. <sighs> this don't make no sense. Oh God. I got my phone? Okay, yeah, I do, I do. But it... Rain, if it rain hard enough, hard. Okay, look, y'all, we're in my car now, but do you see how, I know y'all done seen this glass broke on my windshield before. It, it, it stopped about right here. Now, it's through the entire thing. I did not know that weather changes cause glass to crack. I had no, no clue. Spread, okay, I, I didn't know. Okay, now why are you trying to drive faster in my car? <laughs> Damn, I didn't realize how high up this seat is. I guess because we're in an issue here, it feels a little bit more smooth than home. Alright, we got the gas. We're getting the gas. Did this nigga fall? Hold oh, on, this <laughs> Wait, are you okay? <laughs> Wait, hold on, how did you do that? I just hear a boom, I'm like. What's hurting, your, your knee? My ass. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Oh shit. Press the button, baby. I did. Fuck. Press the middle one. Try a different one. Y'all, this shit is crazy. So the grocery store is open. Ooh. The grocery store is open. So I'm hoping to get some hot food, like some rotisserie chicken and a bunch of snacks. So I'm going, let me go to the snacks first. And then the hot food. Oh my God, I pray that they have hot food. Got some crackers. Let me get some Oreo. Probably need some wine too. That's what it's looking like so far. He gave me a hundred dollar bill and I said, buy as much bullshit as you can get. <laughs> God, there is no hot food, none. Zero. That whole hot food section is empty. Boy, this is crazy. Oh my God. Damn. Got a bunch of salads though. I can definitely make my own salad at home, so I ain't even about to waste my time over there. like this happens so let me go ahead and put that in my pocket all righty oh shoot found a restaurant that's open is this the entrance yep. sure is Ooh. oh yeah it's one of them yeah Oh, yeah. No, I think you build your own bowl and they cook it. Perfect. Like getting through. That's that's what it is. That's the name of the place. Uh -huh. Hello. Just two. Yeah. yeah. Here. Here. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, you put sauces on there? Mm -hmm. Oh, yours looks way better. All right, so we just ate in the car. We just been sitting here talking. It's now 310. Power is still out. And a lot of my friends around the city, their power is out too. Like my sister has power. My aunt has power. Um, But a lot of my friends don't have any power. Uh. This is this is wild. I really thought it would have been back on by now. So I'm just hoping and praying that before night falls, that the power is gonna be back on. Cause I don't wanna have to have no candles lit. Like 
phone don't even fucking work like that's i'm literally gonna be like living in the damn stone age if six seven o'clock get here it gets dark and ain't no power i might have to just go to my aunt's house i might gotta drive to my aunt's house shit is wild he went to go get a shovel he wants to get some of the um built up ice off his car even though his ass ain't about to go nowhere he said he just don't want it sitting on his car I'm like, do whatever makes you happy. I'm about to be sitting right in this car, in this heat. I damn near want to go inside, take a nap. Y'all, this going to be the most boring vlog ever. I'm back, but I'm still in the same spot. I just finished off the rest of my food. Oh, shit. I just finished off the rest of my food. He back in his car, smoking again. He gave me, uh, he gave me a little snack. So once this kick in, we about to go to sleep. So <clears throat> when I tell y'all I am fat full, oh, I shouldn't have ate that much. Oh, this lighting is terrible. God damn. Okay, I might just need to hold y'all. Why are these coming to my phone so much now? That scam likely shit? Ever since I've gotten the new iPhone 12, I literally get those scam likely calls every... Maybe three times a day? Like, what the fuck? They, I, I never got these on my other phone. Ever. Ever. The f and I still, yes, I still have the same phone number, so I just don't understand why when, as the day I got the iPhone 12, I've been getting those scam likely calls. Like, I, I, I don't understand it. Like, what the hell? And I feel like it's because Sprint has merged with T-Mobile. Maybe that's it. Because I never, ne like, ne never. Anyway, um, yeah, I think we're going to go in here and lay down and take a nap in a minute. Power is still off. It's 3.45 now. And I really ain't trying to just bore y'all. I really don't have nothing to talk about. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. Um, I had to get in his ass about that shit because <sighs> gift giving, like when I give a gift, here, babe, happy birthday. Here, boo, Merry Christmas. Here's your gift, happy Valentine's Day. Not set it on next to the bed and be like, your gift right there. Like, no, hand me my gifts in my hand and say, happy Valentine's Day. Don't do that shit. No, so I had to get in his ass and tell him like, this isn't, that's not how you do this. Like, come on now. And like, hand me my gift. I, 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 I that's just some weird, I, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what that's about, but I ain't like that. I don't like that. I need some type of energy behind it. You don't spend all this damn money on my gifts and you want to just set it on the ground and either want me to notice it or just be like, oh, your gift right there. What? No, we ain't doing it. We are grown. <sighs> anyway, um, I'm just rambling at this point. Y'all. It is, what time is it? Oh, look. It's 940, still no power. It's about 50 degrees in the house, but we just lit the fire, lit a bunch of candles, and just in for the night. I'm probably not gonna film anymore for the day. I'll update you guys tomorrow, but, uh, we thugging it out.
pee under his mink. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to holler at you guys in the morning. Welcome to day two of survival mode. Um, I've been up since about 8 a.m. I have no clue what time it is right now. But um, we've been literally all around Houston, riding around, gassing up. Um, it's 12.15. So we just got back to the house. Fire's still going. Fire hasn't done anything. It don't keep anything warm in here. I haven't even been able to take a shower. It is 40 degrees in my house. I think I'm gonna try to take a shower. <sighs> Maybe like a quick little three, four minute shower. I don't know, like that is going to be awful. <clears throat> no restaurants are open. Yesterday McDonald's and um, Whataburger were open. They are not open. Maybe they're gonna open at a certain time today. I'm not sure, but um, I think I'm about to put this in front of the fire and try to warm it up. My Whataburger apple pie. Let's see. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna wrap it in foil and set it in there for a few minutes. If y'all wondering why I can't use my stove, my, uh, my oven, it's because it's an electric stove, not gas. People in Houston who have a gas stove are very lucky right now. Like my sister, she has no electricity, but she can still cook at least. I'm gonna just set it down there for a few minutes. And hopefully it'll get warm. Let's see if it works. Shit, let me get it. Don't laugh at me. Let's see if it's hot, touch it. And it's crispy. What a burger? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't want a piece? Mm -mm. What a few. Mm. So another survival mode. Put all my stuff out here while it's I think it's 22 degrees right now and the refrigerator ain't working. Everything is still frozen solid. Like, everything is still frozen, you see that? But I'm, I don't want it to thaw out. And I had just went grocery shopping. So I mean, there's a couple of things I threw out, but all this stuff that's still like a brick, it's gonna sit out here for a while. So hopefully, fingers crossed it preserves it. We, we, we living like cavemen, like what the fuck? <laughs> Let me go back in this house before I slip on this melting ice. Y'all, this is the line to get into Sam's. Wow. That's crazy. I'm so glad I prepared ahead of time. I mean, I still got snacks in my backseat. <laughs> wow. Back again, y'all. So later on the day. I literally just got back to the house. Um, this is crazy. Like, this is literally crazy. I have zero cell phone service in my neighborhood. So I had to, you know, drive a few blocks out my neighborhood just to get a little bit of cell phone service, to check text messages, let people know I'm okay, check up on people. Everybody is without power. Literally everybody I know. Um, my best friend's parents, they have power. They invited me over to their house, but there's nine people there. And it's like nine people in a small house is kind of like, I'm going to be number 10. I just, I don't know, but I'm, I mean, I'm sitting here in front of my fire and I was driving around getting cell phone service. I was like, ooh, let me stop and get some food because I haven't had any hot food since about 2, 3 p.m. yesterday. I see Popeyes is open, Whataburger is open. I wait in the line at Popeyes. I don't have my purse, I don't have my wallet. I literally had just left the house just to get cell phone service, drove around for half an hour. <sighs> Y'all, this is, this is terrible. And the bad part about it is cell phone service is so shoddy everywhere. Even by that Popeyes, I couldn't even Google to see if they took Apple Pay because I didn't have any service. 
it's like I only had phone service in one direction down the highway. Like, this is bad, y'all. Like, people who got little babies, sick elderly people who are on oxygen, and, you know. <sighs> but this is what we're dealing with. We, uh, we're now, this is Tuesday afternoon. The sun has already went down. It's only 4 p.m., but the sun has already went down because there's supposed to be a big storm hitting tonight, a rainstorm that's supposed to start around 11 p.m. midnight. And they said uh, streets are probably going to freeze over again because it's going to be like 31, 32 degrees out. So I'm trying to make a decision on what I'm going to do. Um... I'm not really sure if I'm going to go to my homegirl's house. And it's like there, at least I'll have electricity. I'll keep my phone charged. I'll stay warm. And I should be able to use my cell phone. If I stay here, I don't have anything. Trill just left. Um, he needed to go make a stop, and he said that he'll be back. So... I don't know. I think I'm about to, um, yeah, this is like, we. this is just something I did not expect. I think I'm about to run back out, get some hot food, go to Popeye's, and come back home. I just, I really don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't know if I'm just going to stay here and be cold or go to my homegirl's house and it just be 10 of us there. All right, y'all, I'm back. Kind of feeling a little bit good. I didn't cleaned up the kitchen. I cleaned up my bedroom. And y'all, I just took the best whole bath ever. Don't try to act like y'all know what a whole bath is. Yeah, don't try to act like y'all know what a whole bath is. Like a bird bath. Like you get all the necessary areas. Your face, your neck, behind your ears, your armpits, your ass, and your front. Like just splash, 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 splash. That's it. So I'm feeling like a fresh woman now. <laughs> But, um, so I changed. I have on my warm socks, my snow boots. I have on panties, y'all. Get some full bottom panties. Y'all know I don't do that. So I got on panties. I got on leggings. I got on some, um, joggers over top of that. I got on a tank top, two t-shirts, and a hoodie, and my beanie. And I'm about to put on that coat over there that's on my bed. I think I'm about to move around because I can't, I can't be doing this. No, I ain't even got no cell phone. So like if I at least had phone service, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna sit my ass in the house in front of my fireplace and I'm entertained. I can talk to the outside world. I can see what the fuck is going on on the outside world. I have no clue what is going on outside of these walls at all. So I need to move around. Um... I'm gonna bring my blankets with me just in case I decide to sleep in my homegirl's house. I don't know. That is really gonna be up to like what time Trill comes back. If he comes back, he says he is coming back and he even want me to go see if I can find some hot food while I'm out. But um, I don't know. Cause if, 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 I don't know. Shit. I ain't trying to be in this house by myself with no communication. So I'm about to put my jacket on and I guess bring my phone chargers. I might bring my computer with me just in case I stay at her house. I really don't know. I ain't trying to be number 10 and invade all her parents' space because it's her parents' house, not her house. Oh, I look cute with my coat. This one was my mommy's coat. She has it in black and in blue. And I got them when she transitioned on to her new life. Oh, thank you, mom. You have your daughter out here looking cute and stylish in this horrible conditions. She's always with me. I don't know if any of you have lost like a parent or anyone close. Do you like smell their stuff to see if it still smells like them? This one doesn't. I mean, it's been sitting in my closet for, you know, a couple years since she's been gone, but I always smell her stuff. All right, y'all, let me get a move on. Should I bring some little shots with me? Cause I know her parents ain't got no liquor. 
Let's so just bring the whole damn bottle. I just bring the little mini shots because Jennifer don't drink. So she's not, she ain't even gonna wanna drink with me. So she might drink on her birthday, a half a drink. And on somebody else's birthday, she might drink like a half a cocktail. That's it, literally. Look at that. Rock solid. Rock solid. Wow. Oh, shit. See, we, we see memes of people sliding on ice and in snow, and we laugh at it. I literally have a new sympathy for those who fall on snow and on ice. This shit is scary and dangerous. All right, so I got two blankets. I got waters and my computer in that bag. I got snacks there from grocery shopping yesterday. Snacks up front from grocery shopping yesterday that I just never brought in the house. So I'm good on snacks. Um, like I said, this is all dependent on if I go to her house. I really don't know. I'm just getting out the house so I can have phone service. So I won't be dead to the world. So these are how the streets are kind of looking. Um, ice in some places and clear in most places. Y'all don't mind my big ass crack. This shit pissed me the fuck off. Nobody told me that cold weather makes cracks. Oh my fucking god. Look at and look at this one at the bottom. I don't even know if y'all can see it, but there's another one at the bottom that's about three, four inches long. Shit is crazy. Anyway, um, yeah, this is how the streets are looking. On like the major, major highways where there's not all these trees blocking the sun. <gasps> Woo! Kind of slipping and sliding now. It's not funny. It's actually scary as shit, but you can't do nothing but laugh because this is the situation we're in. <laughs> but, um, this is the stop sign? Oh, no. But, um, yeah. I'm about to see if Popeyes still has a line, which means if there's a line, there's food. If Popeyes don't have a line, then I might go back to the same grill we ate at yesterday because. Just a couple hours ago, they they uh, had an open sign out. So, yo, yo, this is crazy. And I know my Northerners, y'all know I'm from Chicago. I was born there, but I was raised here. So I am a Houstonian where we have summer nine months out the year. And then we, uh, the other three months are tropical storms, cold fronts and a little bit of rain like and 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 freaking hurricanes so <sighs> this ice this is why the city is shut down they, they literally canceled all of our work for the entire week school is now out until wednesday of course tomorrow's wednesday but i wouldn't be surprised if they just go to school on friday and that's it like i wouldn't be surprised if the power's still out when Houston power goes out, like it's usually out for an entire week, but it's usually due to a hurricane or a tropical storm. So do this being cold outside and no power. This is, this is weird. We ain't used to this shit. This is the line at Popeye's and it's really not bad. Um, I see Billy's donuts is open right there, right there. I, I can't do no more sweets. I've been eating <laughs> Twinkies and cinnamon rolls and cookies all day and all yesterday. So I need me some hot food. I just hope that when I get up here, they say, all, oh, all we got left is, I hope they don't say, all we got left is mashed potatoes and, and um, coleslaw. I'd be mad if they ain't got no meat left. getting to the front but the line is moving so quick now that I'm feeling like they're saying that they're out of food like it's it's moving a little bit too fast right now y'all oh my god please no Popeye can I help you hi do you have everything on the menu right now or only limited um maybe <laughs> yeah okay can I get a a, a surf and turf Surf and turf. Okay, your second. 
Okay, the surf and turf, um, just the surf and turf or combo? The surf and turf combo. Okay, you say your tender is spicy or mild? Mild. Okay, you say order? Uh, french fries. And you drink? Um, lemonade. Anything else? And then a three-piece chicken combo. Okay, three-piece chicken combo, spicy or mild? Uh, mild. You say order? Um, oh shoot, uh, side order is gonna be uh, red beans and rice. Red beans and rice, and you drink? Uh, Sprite. A Sprite. Anything else? And an apple pie. How many? Uh, two apple pies. Anything else? And uh, that's it. That's it? Yeah, that's it. It's an 1816 next to the window. Th thank you. You're welcome, Mom. Oh, they're nice and friendly, and they had everything on the menu. Okay. I was trying to think, like, should I order extra food just to, so I could have some, put it in front of the fireplace later, <laughs> and heat it up? Shit. Oh, did I make a mistake? This is fine. This is cool. Why? Every, I don't understand why. Our, our city is like, we're not equipped, we're not equipped for hurricanes, flooding. Cold weather? Why we ain't equipped for nothing? <laughs> like this is so crazy. Man. What like literally the one of the wealthiest cities in the fucking country. Everybody wants to move here. Mm -hmm. We're so recession proof. We always got money for everything. But we can't we can't ever we can't get nothing right. This is crazy. Yeah, this shit is crazy. And the governor, he's pissed off because he even said this don't make no sense. We knew, like, this had the same thing happened. Because he was talking about what in 2011 when this happened. He said, this happened in 2011, and we we didn't correct it back then, so this happens again? Because he probably ain't got no power. He's pissed. And Could be an Austin who, is, who is mad at who? Is it the governor, Greg Abbott, Sylvester Turner, the mayor? Like, who? Who's, like, at who, fault for stuff? The, I think the, the power companies. The power, um, okay. E-Court? E e I see, I keep like that. seeing that, E-Court. So, uh, I keep seeing that in that name, E Court. This would have been living hell if they were with me. I was afraid to ask you where they were. Honestly, I was like, if them kids are over there, because I was like, I don't even want to stress. Yeah, they're with him. They never lost anything. Girl, they were sliding down hills on. Um... I saw I saw that, but I didn't see that. I've just been doing so much bullshit shopping. You know, I didn't spend at least $400. Oh, my God. Yeah, I bought a bunch of stuff for fashion. I bought that stupid dress that you posted. Just keep them. <laughs> she, said that stu <laughs> she said that stupid dress that you posted. Oh, God. Can y'all see me? Okay, finally back at the house. Lights still not on. We about to make some ghetto punch. So I got my Ciroc apple right here. We ain't got no ice, so... Well, we do. I have like a huge bag of ice in my freezer that's keeping the um refrigerator stuff cold so like my cheese my lunch meat my eggs my canned biscuits all my frozen stuff is still on the back porch and it's still frozen solid so that bag of ice has literally turned into just a huge block i was hitting that motherfucker with some scissors and it would not break so i'm like you know what we about to do some shit the ghetto way these are some half thought out um popsicles so this is going to be used for my flavor and my ice then we're going to use some ciroc oh hell no nah. don't play with me come on now yeah. <sighs> you have got to be kidding me why i can't open it because it's so cold in the house I'm back. I had to get Trill to open it. So weird pouring up with no ice. Oh my God. So what should I do? The grape or the orange or both? Let's do both. Ooh, they like little slushies. Do 
another one. Let me stir it. Yes, I'm using the plastic to stir it. These are hard times, people. But I was still, do, even if this wasn't hard times, y'all know me, I still would have done that shit. Okay, let's see how it tastes. Inside, <laughs> I think I was a little bit too excited for it. Like, hold on, hold up, popsicle number four. It's okay, it's cool. I need ice, like, I need ice with my drinks. Oh Lord, what time? I don't even know what time it is. It is almost 8 p.m. So, update. After I got my Popeyes, I drove to a bank. Um, I just like waited till my phone hit all four bars and 5G popped up. So I sat in front of a bank right next to a, um, a grocery store and I had all my bars for like two hours. I talked to my sister, talked to my homegirls, talked to my aunt. I was on Instagram, like I was back full force action. Then Trill came and met me over there. He ate his food, we sat in the car and talked for a while and then now we just got back to the house. So, yeah. So this is what what it is right now, my homegirl whose house I was gonna go to that I was telling you about, um, her power just went out about an hour ago. So that's another deciding factor why I didn't go over there. I'm like, it was already like 10 people there. Then her power goes out and I'm just like, you know what, it's just like not meant. It's, it's not meant for me to be anywhere. It's just meant for me to thug it out at home. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just glad I'm not completely alone. My sister, she's alone with her dog, but me and her talked for a long time, like she's good. Like she had some little incidents where she was scared and stuff, but um, but she's good. Um, so yeah, the city is still on blackout. It is Tuesday night. My job is saying that it's probably gonna be bad until Thursday. It's supposed to start, a, a thunderstorm is supposed to start in a few hours and they're saying the streets are gonna freeze again. So we shall see, I don't know. My other home girl, her power has been off as long as mine and her power just came on about 30 minutes ago. So that was giving me a little bit of hope that maybe when I pull up in the driveway, my lights is gonna be on too, but nope. And y'all, people have already died. They found some homeless people dead underneath the bridges. A lady and her eight-year-old child died from carbon monoxide poisoning, trying to warm themselves in their garage. I don't know how you didn't know, but she just must not have known. There's no way she would have put herself and her child in danger knowingly. It's just sad. It's just scary and sad that while she was sitting in that car like she didn't text anybody to, and no one said what are you doing oh i'm sitting in my garage with the engine running like i just because it's not an instant death like she should she would have been sitting in there for like a while for maybe an hour or two before it actually caused her to her to die so i don't know i just hate to think about that and they said a grandmother and three grandkids died in a house a house fire I just hate hearing about this type of stuff. I really do. So it just makes me, I just, I have been checking up on my kids so much. Byron ain't answering the phone. I talked to him a couple hours ago and he was good. He was staying at one of his boys' houses. Um, but I just called him about 20 minutes ago. He ain't answered his phone. So I, I'm sure he's still good. But when my kids aren't with me, it just, I don't know. Y'all mothers, y'all know, y'all know what I mean. Y'all just, you know, especially something like this is not go is going on and you can't like, you're not like right there to protect them. But I'd rather my little ones be with their dad because they haven't lost power, water, anything. And they're like having the time of their life. Every time they FaceTime me, they're like, mom, we're playing this game. Mom, look what we saw on TikTok. Mom. You know, so they're good. I just miss my babies. I haven't seen them since Friday morning since I dropped them off at school, so. This is, this is what we're dealing with right now. I 
might edit a video. I don't need internet to edit a video. It's already, all the clips are already uploaded to my computer. I could just edit it and let it sit there. It's too early to go to sleep. My phone does not work in this house. I mean, I could text people, kinda sorta, but like internet, phone calls, none of that works. So, I guess I'm just gonna drink my stress away. Good morning, y'all. It's Wednesday, day three of the winter storm. The power just came back on about mm, 30 minutes ago. I heard like a loud boom. I opened my eyes and I'm like, oh, the power's back on. But this is how we slept on the couch. Fire is still going. Um, the heater's on. So the house has been heating for about a good 30, 40 minutes. So it's about like 65 degrees in the house now. So finally some relief. We cut the oven on, if you can see back there, just in case the power goes back out, we can use the oven to heat up the house a little bit. But this is what it is so far. I've texted a few of my friends and they, um, they power still out. My aunt said her water just went out now, but her power been out all day yesterday, so. We don't know if this is going to last. We don't know what, but I feel like uh, I've been without power for over 48 hours. Can I get 24 hours of power, please? Like, what? <laughs> but I just checked my weather, and it's talking about 100% chance of snow again. Like, I really hope that that's not true. Look at that. It already says it's snowing. Y'all see that? So, I'm just trying to stay positive, prayerfully, that this it we, we, we get to keep our lights on for a while. So, finally able to use my phone in my house. Don't have to drive three blocks away to use my phone. So, I'm just extremely grateful right now. So, I'm going to keep you guys posted. I'm still tired. My knees hurt from laying on this damn couch all night. So... I'm about to just relax for a little bit and I'm going to be back with y'all. Finally can bring my groceries back in the house. They've been sitting outside. Everything is still frozen. Look at that. Got ice on it and everything. This is what you call survival mode, people. Guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to make breakfast. Ooh, I'm about to make breakfast. I've only had two hot meals in the past two days. Let me put all my stuff away. Ooh. My oldest son, Dad, I just saw on his Facebook he put a post four houses in his neighborhood burnt completely down houston fire department had to let them burn to the ground because the pipes had burst in the neighborhood and there was no water meaning no water in the hydrants like there was not enough water to put a, a fire out in four houses literally he just filmed it they just burn burn fire houston fire department's trucks are all there houses just burning down like horrible Oh Lord, let me put this stuff away. Y'all, I can finally take my hoodie off. Like, wow. Ooh, don't want to take my beanie off because I don't want my wig to slip back back. But, oh my God, I don't have to wear a hoodie. Okay, put my food back in the freezer. Some of the boxes were wet, so, but they were all in plastic. Like the food is in plastic. Like the waffles are in plastic, but the box is wet. The corn dogs are in plastic, but the box is wet. So, I don't know. Anyway, they're back in the freezer. Um, I'm trying to clean up the kitchen a little bit. Then I'm gonna cook a little small little breakfast. And yeah. 
Um, some of my friends and family might be coming over here because everybody I know is still without power. Y'all don't understand. This little simple meal means so much. This is the third hot meal that I've had in three days. But the first home cooked meal that I've had all week. Like this is this is crazy. But anyway, I'm, I, we're blessed, so that's all that matters. Now I'm about to grill. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. The kids are back. Their dad lost power. This isn't even snow, y'all. This is like dirty ice. You see it's raining. They just happy to be home. Yaya's here. My sister's here. So, my aunt says she might come a little bit later on. So, we'll see. I might have a house full by the end of the night. <laughs> what, baby? She likes to make fun of you on her YouTube page. I've said hi to her already. <laughs> Knowing she loves you more than anyone in this house. Look at her rubbing her body against That's the it. She, she deserves it. She deserves it. I don't know why she... Because you took them to your dad's house, didn't you? No! Don't want, don't want no parts of that dirty ice. So bougie, I swear. Look, we're back here again. This time, it's just me and my sister, though. But this is the only place with hot food where the line was not crazy. We got, we literally walked in, got our food, and are eating within like ten minutes. This is delicious. Like, this is so good. And I don't know if it's just because I haven't had hot food in days, but Gina, you just put me on. Like, amazing. This is fire. You gotta try, like, like, which one is that? Fish. Why oh, so little? It, because I don't, that's all I got was the fish, rice, and some peppers, but it is magnificent. Yeah, yeah, that's so good. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. Well, what is this place called? Mongolia Hot Mode? Yeah. Oh, I gotta get the egg rolls too. Hold on. This place is so good. Gina found a gym in Sugar Land. Hey, Yaya. Hey, Yaya. <laughs> Sorry, we had to leave you in the car for an hour. We had to eat, baby. And it was delicious. <laughs> you can lick Gina's fingers. I got a little teriyaki on my hand. She gonna lick them, look. <laughs> she, you're too far. <laughs> Your house, we see some that we see some lights. I know. Oh my god, so it's like, why would we be in a rush to get back to no lights, no heat, nothing? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Well, Y'all, really yes, yeah, it's on my Instagram story. Just so save it's it. Be chopped up. Does that matter? No, that's fine. Yeah. I can edit it. It's good. Y'all, we just came home to turn uh, to get another phone charger to get some bottles of water. We were about to just like sit out in front of a store so we can have cell phone reception. Got all that. Used the bathroom. Sat back in the car and look, lights are on in the house. Power just came back on. So I am like overjoyed right now. Like y'all do not understand like <laughs> I, i'm about to have cell phone service again like uh, you look i'm connecting the wi-fi right, right now. now yes <laughs> we were literally about to just go sit at a store so we can use our phones and then and we have if, if we, you hadn't went aside to use the bathroom and take forever it, we yes, would have been gone we would have been gone by now wow 
even our leftover food, we're like, let's, we might as well just sit in the car so it can stay warm. We can't even put it in the house. Because I'm sitting here, I'm like, Gina, my Gina is taking forever. If you hadn't had that whole dilemma of should you leave yes. the fireplace on, we would have been up we the street been da- sitting there for an hour. Wow. Everything happens for, for a reason. reason. Yes, I'm so glad. Yes. I really feel like like mom is up. has like helped us get through all of this. Like, seriously. I just keep feeling like she just like keep cracking jokes behind all the for real because like i'm sure she's laughing at us too but i know she's like helping us get through this yeah for sure i was crying last night too i was like oh hey y'all it is friday no it's not friday it's thursday it's thursday Thursday, yes. My days are running together since all of this has happened. Um, It's Thursday afternoon. Uh, My power has been back on since last night around 9 p.m. So it is now um, past 1 p.m. So the power has, this is the longest stretch the power has been on. So I am praying it stays. The news said that... um, Centerpoint has restored all electricity to Texas except for 40,000 homes, which 40,000 is still a lot without electricity, but you have to just imagine there's millions of homes and businesses in the state of Texas. So I'm just glad that the, the problem is finally resolving. They said now the water, that is still a whole other issue. I never was without water. I've been without power for days, but I was never without water. I had friends without water and power. I had friends come over here filling up buckets of water just so they can flush their toilets. Um, So this is just horrible devastation. I know y'all have seen it on the news, videos on Instagram, people's ceilings just caving in, water flooding homes from pipes bursting. I mean, it is just, it's awful. It really is. And for me, just to be without power for days and just bundled up being cold, I feel like I'm very blessed that that's all I went through. So I have definitely have to look at the brighter side of this, that my mom was watching over me. God had us in his hands. And I'm just I'm just so blessed because it definitely could have been worse for us. Um, so the kids did go back with their dad last night. I don't know if I said that on the um, on the vlog, but um, they came home with me for just a short period of time, and the power had went back out. And so their dad was staying somewhere that had power, so he was like, you know what, meet me again, and I'm packing them up with me. So since power's been on, I'm going to go pick them up in a few hours from him, and prayerfully, prayerfully, the lights do stay on, so we can just try to get back to some type of normal. Um, my sister and Yaya just left. She can't even work. Her job is not even opening its doors until next week, which is horrible because she's a hairstylist. But um, so she's not making any money. Um, so it's just it's it's bad, y'all. So I'm about to start cleaning up. You know, house is kind of out of place. The kitchen is dirty. Um, so I'm about to just clean up, and I'm about to try to feel normal so that's that's the agenda i'm not gonna continue this vlog on i'm just staying hopeful positive that this is it that we're done we're in the clear with all of this they said it's everything is supposed to freeze again tonight we're gonna get down to the 20s again tonight but um they said it shouldn't mess with the power grid so i'm gonna leave my water dripping before i go to bed tonight and i think that's it uh that and then We'll be back in the 70s next week, which is nuts that this weather is doing this. So, guys, I just appreciate the outpouring of love. So many messages. I cannot tell you guys how many messages I have received from y'all. I just have felt so much love. Y'all are just so concerned about me, the kids, my sister, Yaya, like... I was just like overwhelmed with the amount of messages I've got. I just, I did not expect that. I, man, I love you guys so much. And I, and I know y'all love me. Like I know y'all do after the amount of messages that I got. And I made sure to reply to everybody. (sighs) So that's it for the vlog guys. Um, Thank y'all for loving me. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Um, and I made it through. I made it through.
made it through. I'm so blessed.